the host of A Day in My Heels Radio, featured on iHeartRadio, Pop Radio Worldwide, and Spotify Premium. I just want to let you guys know that I'm just so happy to be here. This is my own show. I've been, I've had a couple of recordings. I have a little bit of things that I need to work on, but someplace I'm going to pat myself on the back and go, damn girl, you're doing good. <laughs> Still, here I am. Um, before I get on my t subject of my topics of what I'm going to talk about today, there's a couple people that I wanted to say thank you to that I appreciate for the things that they did for my career early on. Um, one is Continental Theatrical Agency. Uh, they were the agency that I started with when I became a feature performer. I'll explain a little bit about that later on. In my show. And then also, I was with Con uh, Universal Entertainment. Uh, there, they uh, had me actually start to teach feature dancers as they were coming into the industry, which I absolutely love and still do today. Um, you know, uh, it's one of the things that I, I didn't even know about the industry was to have these agents that teach you and send you on the road, book you, all sorts of stuff. So if you're a girl that's now currently dancing or you're modeling and you want to become a feature dancer, you could ask me about it or you can even go to um, look into see what they, they have to offer. They teach you to travel on the road, they teach your shows and uh, get your name out there if you want to do that, which is super fun. Uh, one of the topics that I do want to talk to you about today is um, keeping your integrity, also keeping your word and being true to your own self um, as now in this day we call it our brand also. So it's who you are, uh, what comes from your heart and your soul, what you're trying to put out there or exactly like who you are. So. If you say that you're going to be somewhere and you can't be there, don't wait till like 10 minutes before and say, hey, I'm not showing up because all these people have been there trying to do everything. I call it like the ripple effect. So if you think about a stone in the water and now all of what happens are throwing a pebble up that ripple effect of what goes on about it. So if you're supposed to be there for a modeling gig, be there. If you're supposed to be there for a radio show, be there. If you're supposed to go see your mom for dinner, be there. If you can't, just tell people up front, hey, I can't be there. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because in my long time of my career, one of the things that's really helped me is my word. And people have told me that now. In the past, I just thought, eh, this is just something you're supposed to do. But there's many people that just don't show up. If there's something that goes on, geez, I understand that completely. Like, you know, you get in a car accident or whatever, but try really hard to let people know what's going on. Because on the back end of things, you have no idea all the other things that people have arranged. Maybe they have tight schedules, or they had to arrange something with their family, and their time is valuable also. So I can't express that enough. That's one thing that people tell me all the time. Also, being true to yourself. Like, who are you? Like, if you don't know who you are, go get some self-help books. I don't care. Just find out who exactly you are. And that's going to evolve. You may not be the same person you were yesterday as today, but do stay true to yourself. That makes it easier for people to understand you and also to bring out your personality and to know what you want to do with yourself. Like, do you want to be a model? Do you want to be a dancer? Do you want to be a rock star? Do you want to be on the beach? I mean, I don't know what you want to do, but I feel that if you're moving in a direction that is good for you and that you're um, putting good in the world, then I'm all for it. And if anybody can help out with that, you know, help each other. Uh, there used to be, and you guys might know this, but somebody would call the operator and the operator would talk to this person and they would plug into another person. So if you can help other people and you're like, hey, I know this person is needing a makeup artist and you know a makeup artist, well tell them who the makeup artist is. That girl might really need a job that day and you're holding out, it doesn't even make any sense. So help each other. Like I said, today's topic is integrity and keeping your word and being true to yourself and to your brand. One of the other, one of the other things that I find is that People want to um, do something, but they don't understand it. So maybe they want to model, 
and they think, well, if I take a picture of myself and I put it on Instagram or I put it on Facebook, it's going to get me recognition. But maybe you're putting the wrong thing out on Instagram or Facebook. You know, you might take a picture of yourself topless, which, I mean, that's different for me because I'm a nude model. But if you're not a nude model and you're not established as a nude model, and honestly, even if you are a nude model, there shouldn't be a reason for you to put your naked pictures out there because anyone can take those pictures and do things for, with them. And then it doesn't build your brand. Second, I tell people, look, are you artistic? Are you trying to be um, way out there like abstract? Are you wanting to do like very um, seductive or sweet type of things? And then look on the internet or talk to your friends about who those photographers are where that's going to go. Find out about contracts and model release forms and all those things and make sure that you understand the model release forms. And I know that I'm kind of going in a broad spectrum here, but these are all things that I like to teach you that I've known about that maybe I messed up on and did things that maybe I shouldn't have. And um, just to, to let you know that you can always go back and look at things or say, hey, I don't know about this and I really want to keep to my integrity. And I just keep saying that over and over again. What is your integrity? Who are you as a person? And what do you want to put out to the world, to yourself, to your family, to your friends, to your peers? And as you grow, of course, that's going to be different. So once again, this is Danielle Diamond, your sexy host on A Day in My Heels Radio, featured on iHeartRadio. Go right now, download the app, go to Pop Radio Worldwide, find my show. We're also on Spotify Premium. We'll see you back after the break. <laughs> Danielle Diamond, your host on Day in My Heels Radio, featured on iHeartRadio. What I need you to do right now, stop what you're doing, go download the app, find us on Pop Radio Worldwide, and find my show. Also, we're on Spotify Premium. Thank you for tuning back into my show. We are talking about the subject of integrity and keeping your word. I went to the definition of integrity. It says the quality of being honest and having strong morals and principles. Keeping your word, do what you say you will or you're going to do. One of the things that has helped me with my career being a day in my heels, but in my own heels actually. Lots of them, I love shoes. I forgot to tell you guys that. You guys probably already know that anyway. Okay. <laughs> is that, especially early on in my career, I always kept to my schedule. When people would say to me, I need you to be in Atlanta, I need you then the following week be in Connecticut, the following week you need to be in Texas, and I would say, at that time we didn't have cell phones, believe it or not, but I would say, let me call you back, and what I would do is then I would look at the map, or I would look to see how far are those places. Can I get to those places? Can I do that? Because it sounded really good. Wow, three weeks of work, and they were going to give me great money. And I could have said yes, but what if I couldn't get from Connecticut to Texas? And then all of a sudden, they're mad. Everyone's mad. I'm like feeling like, oh my God, and I don't know what to do. So I would take that time. I would say, let me get back to you. So I suggest maybe you do that. Take a moment. If you don't know that you can do it, say, I need... A moment I'll call you back but make sure you call them back don't just not call them back anyway so I would do that and then I would plan what I needed to do for those schedules and they were intense let me tell you I'm dancing I'm going places I'm modeling I got bags to pack things to do I'm having to be in makeup which could take you an hour I'm wearing my high heel shoes my feet are hurting then I gotta repack everything up put it in my suitcase get in a car drive how many hours I don't know 10 hours, 15 hours, 20 hours. And then I had to get somewhere, relax, put them damn heels on again. That's why I'm holding up the heels. <laughs> put those back on and then be comfortable and confident enough to go and do more shows. The reason that I'm saying this about keeping your word is that there's many other people that they can take. You have a business, 
there's 15 other girls, there's other models, there's other dancers. This, this business and this world isn't that easy, especially for women. It can be hard for men, but it can be hard for everyone. And if they see that you're constantly being late, not showing up, not looking good, being negative, there's all these other choices of people that they can take. So make them want to take you. Make them be like, choose you always. Anyway, so one of the reasons, and as I was saying, is that a lot of girls would cancel booking. So I might have had 20 weeks booked on my own, starting out as a new dancer, a new feature dancer, a headliner, where we went to clubs, they had our name in the lights, you got a paycheck, you put on 20 minute shows. Um, at our time, we had credits, Penthouse, Playboy, all sorts of things like that. Um, might have been on the Playboy channel, might have been a video girl, might have won some contest, and you were to get bookings, 20 weeks. That's a lot of weeks, but I wanted 40 weeks. I wanted to work all the time. So I would be the girl after a while that they would call and say, hey, such and such canceled this week um, coming up in Toronto, Canada. Can you be there? Once again, I would say, give me a minute, let me check. And then I would call them back and say, yes or no. If I said no, of course I felt bad because one, I would like to make the money. Two, I didn't want to let people down. And three, I just want to be a superhero, but you can't always do that. So if I said yes, it was because I could. If I said no, it was because there was no way that I was going to be able to be there. And I'm sure you guys can understand that. You want to do this, but you can't. You just make sure that you don't make yourself too thin. After a while, I went from getting 20 weeks a year to getting 30 weeks a year. 10 to 15 of those were bookings that other girls didn't make it. Well, the following year, I got 30 bookings of my own because they knew that I was going to show up. I was going to be there with my clothes, my heels, with my home body, with my makeup on, in a good mood, ready to do a show. And I don't know what business you're in. It doesn't matter what business you're in, just as long as you keep your word and know your integrity. Um, now, going about four or five years later, I couldn't even keep track of the bookings. I was like, there's 42 weeks in the year that I was booking. They wanted me to book 10 more weeks and I'm going, wait a minute, that's my whole entire year. It was a great place to be and then I could decide what I wanted and which job seemed better for me. I could pick and choose different things and as I was doing that, I was leveling up, which is, I think, what we all want to do, right? I went from doing things that I was like, yeah, this doesn't really fit me, to things that fit me, to going, wow, like, can I actually do this and now fit into that place and that position? And that's what I'm hoping for all of you, is that you find a place where you completely level up, where you're, you've got your integrity, you know who you are, you know who you're wanting to grow into, you know your little learning curves and you also know that you deserve to be in a certain place and that you're getting there and now people are going to want to help you get there they're going to be like this girl shows up this person shows up this person when they get there they give me 90 percent 100 percent 110 percent 140 fucking percent but if you're 30%, 20%, they're like, ah. And I understand when you're learning, believe me. I have people that I drive crazy while I'm learning. But I think that if you step into who you are, that you can't lose. And when you come from your heart, and you come from really good work, and you know your vision, that you can just soar. Coming back to keeping your word, that means that you, if you say you're doing something, you do it. If you can't do it, call up and say, hey, listen, something came up and I just can't be there or I can't do it or is there a way that we can do something different? How can we help each other out? We're going to go ahead to a break right now and we'll come back to this topic matter. This is Danielle Diamond. You're a sexy host in a day in my heels radio on iHeartRadio, Pop Radio Worldwide and Spotify Premium. Tune in. <laughs> You need to tune into my show. It's going to be amazing. It is amazing. 
I'm going to show you some people that have made a living in wearing their high heels, their stories, their adventures, maybe some tips, a little bit of sexiness, some of the, I don't know, things that have helped them along, maybe things that will even help you, maybe you'll be inspired, or maybe you'll just love the show enough that you will just want to tune in because you want to see some sexy ladies and their stories. Hello, for those of you tuning back in, this is Danielle Diamond, your host of A Day in My Heels Radio, featured on iHeartRadio, Pop Radio Worldwide, and Spotify Premium. What I was talking about before was integrity. And what is to be a day in my heels or somebody else's heels and the things that people might go through. Um, I wanted to let you know if you could definitely go download this, talk to your friends, repost it. I really just need some listeners, not just for me, so that when I bring guests on that they have a viewing audience. Also, the more that people that listen to the show, the bigger people that I can bring on, because if not, they're gonna be like, I'm not coming on your show. You don't have any people listening to you. I really need people to listen, because I feel like this will inspire people. The people that I can bring on are gonna tell their stories, and I'm hoping that they will relate to you in a way that inspires you, and can help you to either tell somebody, or maybe there's a place in your life right now that you're like, you just feel lost, you don't know what's going on, and then somebody comes on and they say something and they're like, wow, this is kind of where I'm at now, or I can pick up something from that space, from that person, and you can see that this is where they were, but this is where they are now, and that's something that you could do too. Um, thank you for tuning into my show. Women's empowerment is something that we definitely need, and understanding the behind the scenes of my world and hopefully inspiring other people. Um, I wanted to shout out to Rockstar Rescue. They're in um, Phoenix, Arizona. That is a wonderful, wonderful person that... <laughs> she was a feature dancer that I worked with for many, many years that wound up um, taking her career and helping out animals. Most of these animals will never be able to go into homes. They keep them there on the premises and you'll just have to see what they do. It's beautiful. Also, I wanted to thank Pop on Pop Radio Worldwide for giving me an opportunity to showcase my show. It's uh, <laughs> My message for you today is to stay inspired, keep true to yourself, and enjoy the beautiful moments. Just take a minute to just really pat yourself on the back and be like, hey, I've come from this. I'm doing a great job. Not anybody is the same, and the two people are, are never the same. Stop comparing yourself to others. That's just, you don't wanna be a copycat, you wanna be you. Also, I am taking interviews, so anyone interested in interviews, I'm doing Zoom calls because I'm all over the place, I'm everywhere, but that's from models, to feature dancers, to porn stars, to video models, athletes, music industry also in that I can take some music um, submissions I have to get them approved first but I can put them in between when I'm talking you can even come on the show tell me everything that you got going on just get a hold of me a day in my heels gmail that's day in my heels at gmail.com just shoot me information let me know and I will definitely get back to you thank you so much Thank you again for tuning into my show. Until next time, I'm Danielle Diamond, your host at A Day in My Heels Radio, featured on iHeartRadio, Pop Radio Worldwide, and Spotify Premium. Thank you. It's your boy Princess Pang with Pop Radio Worldwide, Danielle Diamond. Welcome, Danielle Diamond to Pop Radio Worldwide. She's on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium with A Day in My Heels Radio Show. Tell them all about it, honey. This is a day in my heels radio. One time I was paralyzed and I could not do anything. And I sat in my bed and I thought, this is not the way my life is gonna be. I wanna do things. So I became a model, I started dancing, and I was I couldn't walk, but that's not today. And now I wanna show she every- She leveled up, baby. Yes. I wanna share my story and other people's story about a day in their heels and the things that they had to do and where they are now. You know what I'm saying? So make sure to follow my sis, also on Instagram, Danielle Diamond and also a day in my heels one is it yeah one and uh, 
Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Woo!